My name's Nathan Williams. I work with State Library of Queensland uh, in our Cairns office. I am uh, both Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander. Um, on my mother's side, I'm from Gugiyamata, uh, from Laura in, uh, in Cape York. And on my father's side is Torres Strait uh, from um, Ogar, which is Stephen Island, uh, which is uh, on the uh, eastern side of the Torres Strait. Protocol 4, which is accessibility and use, and it's around um, Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people, you know, being recognised in libraries. Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people also, you know, need to be feel accepted within those in those walls because um, historically a lot of mob didn't go to school. Having more Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people uh, within, uh, employed within uh, um, libraries is also important for uh, Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people to have access and, and to use the, uh, the facilities and, and, and the services. You know, walking into an environment which is culturally safe, it's, it's having those recognisable, you know, Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander feel or environment. Um, you know, when you've got authors who are writing books about Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people, um, utilising, you know, those uh, stories um, to understand, you know, our own mob. I've worked with um, or know of um, some Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander uh, architects and designers who are out there who are actually now designing buildings that are more culturally sensitive um, and are more appropriate in terms of cultural uh, practices for Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people. It could be, for example, a positioning of a window which looks at as quite a significant spot within the environment. It could be um, pointing out towards a, uh, a, a, an important um, learning or cultural area. Where there's, a, where there's a story behind it. So when you're looking at that window, you then can be kept connected with that environment, with that land, and you, you can then be connected to the story that belongs to that land, uh, the language that belongs to that land as well. Um, and so, you know, you, you start learning um, and being part of that community rather than be on the outside and learning from an outside perspective, you start, you know, learning from the inside. We do um, need to consult more with the, the traditional owners of, the, of that area, understand the language that is from that area, understand that there are different Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people from all over Australia living in that area as well. Um, and so libraries need to take that into perspective and, and introduce that into the libraries, whether it be, you know, through the day, as I mentioned before, whether it be for, um, you know, their, their, their staff to learn about um, Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander ways and the differences culturally. Uh, and language-wise, as well as, you know, as I said, um, the body language, the way we, you know, move and talk and see each other and, and, and look at each other. So that's what needs to happen more. But it is getting there slowly, and uh, and I think if we continue the path that we're on now, we'll, we'll get there, you know, in a much better way, hopefully, than it has been in the past.